In this lesson, I'll show you how to use a truth table to show that a statement has a contradiction. When learning proofs in logic, a contradiction or a contradictory statement is never true under any circumstance. So let's show that this statement is a contradiction. We have two elements here. We have P and Q, and we want to find out how many rows we want in our truth table. So we'll use 2 to the power of n, which will tell us the number of rows and therefore the number of combinations. N represents the number of components here. We have two, so two to the power of two is four. I'll write down P and Q for the first two columns in our truth table. And the four possibilities are true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. In the first set of parentheses, we have P or Q. So I'll write down P or Q. Now we're looking at these two columns to see if either of them is true. Because with or statements, one of the components needs to be true for the entire statement to be true. Both of these are true, so that's true. We have a true here and a false here, but because we have one true, that makes it true. False true is still true, and false false is the only time where or statements are false. Okay, now we will look at this set of parentheses and inside there we have not P and not Q. So we'll look at those individually before we look at them as a whole. All right, for not P, all you have to do is take the opposite of these. So if this is true, then that's false, false, that's false, and that's false, so these will be true. And the same applies with not Q. So look at this column. Where you see true, you write down false, true, false, true. Notice that we took the opposite of this column. All right, now we'll take both of them at the same time, where we have not P and not Q. And when it comes to and statements, both of the components need to be true in order for it to be true, the entire statement. So now take a look at these two columns. We have false, false here, so that's going to be false. That's going to be false because we have a false and a true. You need two trues to make it true. True and false will make it false. And finally, we get two trues, which makes it true. Now we have to take the entire statement, and this will tell us whether this statement is a contradiction or not. So I'll write down the entire statement like this. And we will focus on two columns, the ones highlighted on your screen. OK, so this is an AND statement. We are looking for a true here and a true here. This is true, that's false, so this is false. That's true, that's false, so this is false true, false, that means that's false. And unfortunately, we have a false and a true, so that is also false. Because we have a column full of falses for the statement, that makes the statement a contradiction. Now before I conclude, just so that you understand this perfectly, this statement and this statement can never be true at the same time. This is what this conclusion, our final conclusion, is telling us here. And there you have it. That is how to use a truth table to show a contradiction.